right, I'm back, Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst, oops, where's the camera? There it is. Uh, Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives as well as our own, and we work at being the artist we've always wanted to be. Hi, it's been a little while again, and it's been a minute, as we say now. And I am wearing the ugliest pants I could possibly find, but they're super comfortable and they don't smell. So enjoy. I've even got I've got paint all over them, but I've got a white spot right where my poo hole should be, I think. Anyway, it's back on my butt crack somewhere. So I can't wear them outside. Instead, I'm going to wear them here on Catalyst and Company and YouTube. Think good choice, good fashion choice. Behind me is a, a panel. I've been working on, uh, okay, long story, always. Uh, I've been working on a mural design. Uh, for the city and it's actually it's one mural that's four it's what <laughs> it's one mural one mural job but it's cut into three panels on the side of a building the panels are 13 feet by 13 feet so whatever that is 13 feet times three nine 49 feet if I'm right very tired. I didn't sleep last night. I was working on this. So it's something, I think it's 49 feet long. Who cares? 13 feet high, split into three 13 by 13 um, panels. And I had worked out the first two panels pretty well, at least initial sketches, initial ideas, which went in a proposal kit. But then I also worked on a, um, uh, originally worked on one long piece one long sketch and and submitted that with a proposal as well and now i've gone on to taking taking a section of um the mural this would essentially be the center panel out of the three panels so the center panel out of the three panels um working on an idea and design for this and what it is is alfred hare who was the founder of the florida highwaymen um i'm going to have his name in this little banner in this little gray and white banner and then uh, the color illustration around him. I'm not, I'm not showing you this because I think the portrait of Alfred Hare is over the moon great. It's mediocre, it's okay, I know I can do better, but there's a couple of issues. Um, I'm really low, <laughs> I'm really, really low on paint. Can't help that. Otherwise, I would be doing him on aerosol, but also to do the aerosol. Well, I need the paint. I need the aerosol paint, but I also need um, uh, gesso and other supplies. But I also need a big uh, workspace. I've got a nine foot by nine foot wall over here, which I can work on. I have a 10 foot by 10 foot wall that's been made available for me to practice on but it's, it's a long drive. So I think what I just, I guess it's gonna get everything set up and get to work doing the aerosol, the, using the aerosol, so I can really work out the issues because he is clunky, it's not quite right. I just wanted to bang something else out, get the basics for Alfred Hare's face and figure out, see all my mistakes, all my boo-boos, and let my head figure out how to do it better next time. I've got, um, I've got his orange clouds in the background because he really used a lot of color at times because color sells. And Alfred Hare, along with the other 25 highwaymen, were selling paintings on the side of the road. And so to help ensure the work would be sold, they used a lot of red, um, like in paintings of the... Um, it's not poinsettia, I think it's poinsettia tree, I'm not sure. It's a red tree that blooms here, and the blossoms are about this big, and uh, I've done illustrations of them, uh, expanded or whatever. Tired, um, I saw the exact tree in a, actually, in a congresswoman's yard when I was there, because I'm fancy. I saw this poinsettia or whatever it is tree with the red blossom red orange blossoms and they do come in red orange pink all these colors but the uh, highwaymen uh, primarily painted red ish they were about this big i didn't know what they were they were really delicate and beautiful 
not the big honking monsters you could beat someone with that I have over here, but really beautiful. I had no idea. And now here I am, you know, doing illustrations of poinsettia or whatever they are trees and the blossoms and also the little seedlings that come out, the, the little pods and things. So of course, palm trees, because the uh, uh, high wind unpainted palm trees, they were doing landscapes. They were doing landscapes for tourists or people who lived here and just wanted to say, I want to look at what's right outside my window and hang it on the wall. So that's what I've been doing here. I'm also um, in the middle of taking Alfred down. But along with painting this, I have had the idea, well, I've been doing illustrations of the coin, uh, sketch illustrations of the coin the Highwaymen received in 2004 when they were inducted into the Florida Artists Hall of Fame. I've got to work out ideas for that. I want those in black and white as well. So I've got them over there. They're posted on my Facebook and Instagram pages. But then I start... Thank you, piece of cake. But then I started to think, too, about the frames. Because while I was painting the... Uh, an illustration for the medallion that they got. I'm painting, in the medallion is, is, is it an etching or a relief of a car, a highwayman car with paintings in the back and they're all framed. So I started thinking about, while well, I'm painting little frames, frames, I started thinking about them. So last night, I went ahead and made a few little mock-ups. Of Victorian frames because I'm presuming that's what they had uh, were old frames they would have gotten thrift shops used whatever just old old timey frames so I've been trying out different ideas like that these are much much smaller these are half of what that that is I believe something like that let's see how this works out Back in a thousand today. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night because I was up painting this and then my head was still working. So I don't think I get to sleep till about 4, 4.30 this morning. That's it. Unless it, I guess I'll have to look at it in video. But this is one I have, the idea I have is the, <laughs> is the, is painting something like a frame going around it. And a different design for each, each little panel. I mean, that's not set in stone, none of this is. But since we're waiting to hear back from all the parties involved, I figured, why not? I'll be right back. Why not try some different things? Ugh. Why not just keep working on ideas? All right, I'll have to look at this later, but I think that would help pull in Alfred Hare and the medallion and um, other illustrations I have in the three panels are in black and white, but I'll look at it later. Bye-bye, frames. Um, yeah, I've got... Now here, I'll show you one other thing. So this is part of the medallion. Uh, I originally did an illustration of it. My pretty pants. Um, I originally did a, an illustration of the whole uh, medallion, but it was really, really rough, so I just decided to blow it up and keep working on it. This is not finished. Again, not set in stone. This is, hmm, I have an idea. Let me play with that idea. And all of that, even the, uh, everything is acrylic on aerosol. Even the black and white illustrations, there's aerosol colors underneath it. I want to have peek through the black, white, and gray. Now, I'll tell you what this is done on. I was trying to find an expensive way to work, to just sketch things out. And of course, can canvas is not expensive. Uh, canvas is very expensive. 
last year when I was doing mural designs for somebody else, or was it the year before? It, no, it was last year. Um, I used plastic, like plastic drop cloth. This stuff is drop cloth again, but it's a paper covered drop cloth. So there's a little bit of a substance for the paint to hang on to. It, it's white. I haven't seen it in another color, which is perfectly fine. It holds the gesso really well. I don't, it's not going to age well. It's a drop cloth, but it is good for now. But Mr. Wright. It ain't Mr. Wright, but it's Mr. Wright now. So what I did was I originally had the um, drop cloth and paper. One side is, all, is paper attached to the plastic drop cloth. The other side is just plastic. So it holds, it holds the paint, keeps it from soaking through um, any of it, the gesso to the aerosol to the acrylics. It's actually a nice barrier. Right, but I'm going to show you something else in a minute. I'm torturing you right now. But I'm going to show you something really cool in a minute. Yeah, this is an inexpensive way to go. I got a 12 foot by 9 foot um, roll or whatever out. And it was 16 bucks. So that's a lot better than trying to play around on canvas, which you couldn't do big enough anyway. Whereas with this stuff, you can go super big, you can tape them together to tape them together. I've used uh, masking tape, and then got, oh my god, then gone over the masking tape with gesso. So everything is kind of sealed together. Now, you just saw I was not... I didn't treat this tenderly. It's actually been treated pretty roughly. It is uh, a little delicate in that it will tear. So you kind of got to be careful that way. But look at the paint. It's not cracked. It doesn't flake off. I actually took one of the panels that I had already done, delivered it to the woman who asked me to you know, to do this project. Oh my God, tape's all stuck together. Um, I, I took the panel off, I had it on, at first I had it on the wall, then I, I've been doing this all along, have it on the wall, put it down, he put it down on a canvas so I can move it around and think and think and think, readjust for later. But once it's done, once this one panel was done, took it down, let it dry, it's air, it's aerosol, so I mean acrylic, so it dries like that. Folded it up, put it in the presentation kit, and delivered it. No cracks, no flaking. It's awesome. It's actually a really nice alternative. I'm gonna grab you this one last thing that I've been working on. So this is oh, wait a minute. What? There. So there's the car um, on the medallion, and I think it's like this. <laughs> the medallion appears to be about this big in the photographs I've seen of it. And so the car is like itty bitty. But taking a picture, blowing it up, I've been playing with, as you can see, aerosols again. I've got teals, I've got some blues, and I've got some orange underneath. That's what I first put down over the black gesso. And then going over the top with gray acrylic and then lightening it up to, you know, little whites here and there. And then going back over it with a, um, a very wet black paint. It's actually the gesso paint again. I like the dryness of the black gesso. So it's very wet, brush it down. So I get these nice textures um, indicating that it's an etching or, or um, a thing, a metal something, I don't know, whatever I'm trying to say. But so that's the third, fourth thing that I've been working on for the past week. 
while we're sitting around waiting for the client to get back to us. And that's by us, I don't mean just me and all my personalities. I mean the woman that asked me to do this and my personalities. It's green, it's purple, and it hurts. But that's what we've been up to. So that's my suggestion is if you want something really inexpensive to um, do practice on, practice on, I get mine at Ace Hardware, I'm sure Lowe's, Home Depot, any place will have it. Hardware store will have it. Runs about $16. Again, it's plastic. It's a plastic base with paper on top. It's nine foot by 12 foot is what I get. You can get a bunch of different sizes, duh. When I first bought it though, I brought it home and I'm unwrapping it and it was only like four and a half feet by 12 feet. And so I went back and I go, I think there's something wrong with this. And the guy looks at me and laughs. It's, it's very thin. It's actually thinner than, than you would know with the paint on it, but it, or could recognize with the paint on it, but it's very thin. So you do have to just keep unfolding. Um, you can always ask for help from your Ace Hardware guy, like I did, um, who has actually been helpful with getting paints as well. Um, so that's it. I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, all the links are down below. If you have any questions about original paintings, because I do other stuff, um, uh, just message me or put it in the comment section. Anyway, everything's down below. All right, Carrie, ready? Go Guy, I hope you're doing well in Australia. I'm stressed to the max, but I hope you're doing okay. All right, ready? Ciao. Meow, 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 boink.